Welcome to the Palm Technology Channel. Tuna purse singing involves surrounding tuna shoes with a net, impounding the fish by pursing the net, and drying up the catch by hauling the net so that the fish are crowded in the bunt and can then be brailed out. As the purse seine catches fish above the thermocline, fish tuna and tuna-like fish inhabit in the surface and subsurface zone, mixing area, are the target of this technique. They are, in tropical waters, juvenile yellowfin, juvenile big eye and skipjack, together with some small tuna-like fish such as frigate tunas, bonitos, etc. Ayun ang pusing ng fishing master at ba napakahirap. Pero kapag kita mo naman ang isda na nasa loob lang, wala kang mararamdaman na hirap at pagod. Kahit abutin pa ng madaling araw at kinabukasan, magi storage Baliwala lang yan. In temperate waters, Dahil, they catch either small juvenile bluefin tuna when they are feeding on bait fish or a large bluefin tuna while they surface for spawning activities. Also in temperate waters, purse seine is occasionally used to harvest albacore, generally during night when fish come to surface for feeding. Kapag nasa gitna ang mga isda at walang pagod na nararamdaman. Ganyan ang buhay namin dito sa laot, mga kajimban. Walang nararamdaman na pagod at hirap kapag lagi mong nakikita ang mga biyayang punong-puno at umaapaw. Ayan, mga kajimban. The industrial first saying gear is a large net which is used to encircle the school of tunas and closed at the bottom to entrap them. The synthetic net measures 1,500 to 2 plus 000 meter long and 120 to 215 meters long. The size of the mesh is usually around 120 millimeters stretched mesh. Sana patuloy pa rin ang pagkabuhos ng biyaya para sa ating mga kapamilya. Ayan mga kajimpan. At patuloy lang po pagpalo at panood sa aking video. Maraming salamat po. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. Tuna purse saners vary considerably in size. Industrial tuna purse saners are usually large vessels which length ranges between 45 and 85 meters, sometimes over, up to 100 to 110 meters. Those saners are facilitated with a large skiff, often with a few speed boats, and with a helicopter. The top of the net is mounted on a float line and the bottom on a lead line which, usually consists of a steel chain with steel rings, known as purse rings, are attached below the chain. The purse line which run through the purse rings is made of steel and allow the pursing of the net. There are smaller purse seine gears used for less industrialized fishing near coastal areas, mostly targeting small tuna-like fish, such as frigate tunas and bonitos. Those fishing is seasonal and the same gear is used for other pelagics such as sardine and anchovies. The size varies from 20 to 50 meters. 
All purse seiners are equipped with a power block to purse the lead line after fish are inside of the net. In some area, paired seiners were used of the size of about 300 to 400 GD. But this fishing methods has been reduced if still exist. In general the tuna purse seines are used to capture fish aggregated and swimming not too far from the surface in the high sea waters, as well as in the near coast waters. Aggregated resources up to a maximum of 300 meters depth, but practically at depth less than almost 150 meters depth and mostly less than 60 to 70 meters are targeted. Storage of tuna once it is caught presents a problem, for the size of the fish is large. Some vessels are equipped to bulk freeze the catch, but the commonest method is to keep the fish in refrigerated brine tanks, which form much of the lower parts of the hull and are equipped with batteries of seawater pumps for circulation. In the industrialized purse seiners, the tunas are preserved in wells of 20 to 40 metric tons each, total 800 to 200 metric tons, with brine freezing at minus 20 degrees Celsius. In the more artisanal purse seiners, the tuna are generally kept in ice seawater. Yan mga kagimban, estimate ni Fishing Master RRI nasa 140 metric tons. Yun! Tumalon, nagpapabidyo talaga mga kagimban. Talaga naman. Oh, dalawang grupo. Momo tik tik talaga. Sigurado na naman mga kajimba na. Yun na. Alam niyo na yon. Kaya pakipalo lang po ang video ni Jimbang. Like and comment po tayo. Ayan. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.
Ayan mga kajimba, nakikita nyo yan Double choker yung nakapigil Ibig sabihin yan, volume yung iskang na kulong namin Kapag ganyan, marami ka mga jimba Hindi kayang pigilan ng isang choker lang Kaya ginawang double Ayan o, oh, punong puno yung salok Mga kajimba, talaga naman Tuloy-tuloy ang biyaya sa team Marita Edit by Fishing Master RR Salamat po sa mga biyaya yung pinagkulog nyo sa amin Ayan mga kajimba, no, ang malalaki na pala, konti lang pala yung maliliit. Kala ko, puro maliliit. Yung pala, ang ganda ng size mga kajimba. Ayan, yung lipin at skip niya. Ayan, nakikita nyo mga kajimba, ang lawak ng buka ng lambat. Ibig sabihin yan, maraming isda yan, kaya ganyan. Bukang buka yung lambat natin. Ayan, puro malalaki na yung natira mga kajimba. Nawala na yung mga maliliit, nakalusot na. Kaya yan, natira na lang yung puro malalaki. Talaga naman. 